If you do your own bike work, here are some tips on using a master link for chain installation and replacement. Just a note before we get started, some chains, such as this HG94, which is a 10-speed XT Shimano, has writing on one side, but the other side is blank. This means that the chain is asymmetrical, and the instructions say have the writing facing outwards towards you. And my guess is that this is to allow easier shifting on the ramping of the cassette. In this video, we're going to show you some tips which has writing on both sides and therefore is not directional. You can install it either side facing out. It's an 11-speed SRAM PC1130 that we'll be using to look at the master links. We've replaced our 11-speed chain, applied our chain hook. For more information on chain installation and replacement, see the pop-up in the upper right-hand corner. We're going to be using the SRAM master link that came with this, and if we look closely, I don't know if it's apparent, but there's a small arrow that's pointing in the direction of chain movement. That is, the chain, when cranking, on the bottom moves to the back and then forward on the top. So on the bottom, we want the arrow facing to the rear. I should point out that some master links have writing only on one side, and that side should point outwards towards you. Some have no arrow, as this SRAM does, and if it has no arrow, how it is placed on the chain is non-directional or is, makes no difference. In this case, again, we have the arrow. We're going to point it to the rear. But before we do that, we're going to place a drop of finish line light lubricant on each of the rivets. Then we'll take the rivet with the arrow pointing in the correct direction, in this case on the bottom portion towards the rear cassette and derailleur, which is the movement of the chain when pedaling. And then we're going to fit it together such that we can see that the rivet is protruding close to the center of the master link. We can try pulling that apart. We can't do it in this case. It's just too tight. So we'll carefully take off the chain hook. Here's our master link right here. Now we'll move this master link up to the very top while we shift to the large chain ring. We can see it right up here and we do the following. While holding the brakes, go ahead and push down on the pedal. You'll hear a click and you'll see that the rivet in the master link has moved from the center portion to the outside. Check the other side. Also make sure that pin is engaged and moved towards the outside. Now, if you're using Connex Master Link, see our video in the upper right hand corner with instructions on how to use that Connex link. This is the SRAM that came with the chain. It's a one time use. When we go to replace the chain, we'll break it with our chain breaker at some other point and then replace the chain and put on a new Master Link. Should your chain not come with a Master Link, or you wish to replace your master link with one that is reusable, KMC makes master links to fit most manufactured chains, including Campy, as well as Shimano, KMC, etc. Be sure to match the speed to that of your bike, i.e. 9, 10, 11, 12. 
some individuals may wish to remove their chain to in order to clean it and that's why KMC is making some reusable. However, KMC does not specify how many times you can remove the link and replace it during the life of the chain. We at Tony Tensby prefer to keep the chain on and clean it. If you use a reusable, limit the number of times you take it on and off. I don't know what that number is, maybe three, maybe six. Always be sure to replace any master link, even the reusable, with a new master link when the chain is worn and needs to be replaced. Now this KMC master link made specifically for an 11 speed SRAM, also fit Shimano and KMC. Has no arrows, so it makes no difference which way we install it, but we install it similar to the way we just installed the, Shima the SRAM master link. We will engage the ends, move it around to the top, and then push on the pedal to engage the pins. Now I must point out that for the 9 and 10 speed KMC, a lot of them I can engage and disengage and remove with, by hand without requiring any tools or even pushing on the pedal. However, for the 11 speed, it's fairly tight. I'm going to have to, if I want to remove it, use a tool such as the Park tool for chain removal and installation. We'll engage it just to either side and push on the handles and open that up should we want to remove the chain and clean the chain and link. If you have any other master link tips or other maintenance tips, please comment below. This is Tony of Tony 10 Speed, Safe Cycling.